get breaking news alerts and special reports. The news and stories that matter, delivered weekday mornings. A judge has ruled that it's unconstitutional for the president to block people on Twitter, but that doesn't immediately bar other politicians from doing the same, experts said. The ruling could, however, serve as a case to point to another lawsuits and is a lesson for public officials. U.S. District Judge Naomi Reis Buckwald of New York ruled on Wednesday that blocking people from the president's Twitter account is a violation of the First Amendment, and that stopping people from interacting with the account was restricting a real, albeit narrow, slice of speech. The ruling answered the question in front of the court, but the judge did not issue an order immediately requiring Trump to unblock or to stop blocking accounts. The judge wrote that the ruling declaring the law should be enough, it's a good first decision for First Amendment advocates on this topic, said Chip Stewart, associate dean and professor of journalism at Texas Christian University, who focuses on law and digital media. The ruling is one decision in one district court and is somewhat limited. While significant, it's still a long way to go before this is the law of the land, Stewart said. Wednesday's ruling could be appealed. The ruling does not affect normal Twitter users' ability to block others, experts said. A public forum lawsuit was brought on behalf of seven people blocked from Trump's Twitter account, which the president frequently uses to make government and other announcements, and the suit argued that the real Donald Trump Twitter account is a public forum under the First Amendment. Adam Sharp, who was the head of news, government and elections at Twitter from 2010 through 2016, said that while the case applies to the president, under the ruling, this would send the same signal to a member of Congress or a governor as it would the president, that slice of the space in which people are talking to their president and talking to their public officials, they are still operating in a public space in that context, Sharp said. wrote in the ruling that parts of Trump's Twitter account, the interactive space, where Twitter users may directly engage with the content of the president's tweets, is a public forum, and that blocking people based on their political speech, constitutes viewpoint. Discrimination that violates the First Amendment, the ruling says that those blocked cannot view the president's tweets, directly reply to these tweets, or use the at real Donald Trump webpage to view the comment threads associated with the president's tweets, while those blocked are logged in. Trump's Twitter account has more than 52 million followers. In June, the president used the platform to announce his intention to nominate Christopher Wray as FBI director. Trump also announced the firing of former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson on the platform in March.